Hey Budgeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo, I'm 27. I'm working on my financial freedom journey um, with paying off my student loans, saving for a house, trying to buy a house. <laughs> I also sell budget planners, uh, tracking my expenses and budgeting my money. Um, if you're returning, hey friend. So in this video, I'm gonna be cash stepping for the last paycheck for April. You're like, girl, we're in May already. You're not lying. However, money still gotta be money in. Um, there's a few things that happened that I definitely probably should say. Well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna chat with y'all because we cool. We cool. <laughs> so I didn't take out as much money as I usually do. And there's a couple of reasons for that. So it's gonna be like a cash stepping and a closeout budget. Um, I kind of want to get a different color. Um, we'll do green. So although, um, yeah, okay, let, where do I want to start? So I'll go over the house fund when I get to that in this envelope. Um, as you can see, I got my nails done. I got them done because we're taking engagement photos. I do not like them. I do not like, for all those who speak nail, I don't like how thick and like wide they are. But you know what, you guys? This has just convinced me that I was already on the brink of, eh, forget about nails. Now I'm really like, I don't want my nails done. Uh, after this, after this right here, I'm done. I don't want my nails done. No more, no mas. Okay. Less, anyways, that was my little bit of complaining. Also, 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 Pepper by Mo, these budget planners. Thank you guys so much for supporting your girl. Um, all orders will be going shipping out every Saturday of this month. So that means on the 6th, I will be shipping out orders. Um, I'm, I have to organize my life and do it that way because it's a lot of orders. And I'm so grateful for you guys. And I really want you guys to... Um, enjoy these budget planners truly and i hope that they are able to cater to your budgeting and financial needs and i want them to be as perfect as possible so i regardless if you ordered on the first the second the third whatever it is what it, whatever day of week it is i'm gonna go ahead and ship it out on saturdays because like i said i make things by hand so i want them to be as close to perfect as possible and again i appreciate it so much i did have a discount where you could get free shipping but it was only for like the first 10 people and y'all listen it's been over 10 orders okay over well over 10 people who ordered the physical budget planners these are the last budget planners that your girl will be selling that's physical so i thank you i thank you but there's also digital ones up there so make sure y'all check that out all right now let's get into this closeout slash um cash stuffing i think i'm gonna try to do like the closeout first because i feel like it explains the cash stuffing so I definitely got the $1,955.66 um, from my full-time job. Shout out to the Lord. Okay, <clears throat> this is where things kind of get in. So I said I wasn't paying bills with this, right? But I ended up paying a bill, a high bill. So you know it was tax season. I hope y'all did y'all taxes. I hope you guys at least got something back. But my man, my boo he didn't get nothing back actually he owed stuff which is crazy because they take taxes out of his paychecks but obviously not enough he also like he has a full-time salary but he also has commission so he owed 1600 dollars worth of taxes anyways i say all that to say i helped out with rent and um i helped out a lot with rent so what does that mean that means i budgeted zero for it and i actually gave one thousand dollars and you're like girl that's crazy here's the thing i'm not mad at having two incomes you know two different people having two different incomes because things like this can happen in life but also as you can see none of this money was going towards bills so priorities rent needed to be paid and guess what it got paid <laughs> so you're like okay so you paid a thousand dollars for rent now what so let's go to actual here that's 1000 and then the rest of it is going to be remaining it was nine ooh, I, was gonna, I put a comma 900 see look at look at me speaking up nine thousand dollars nine hundred fifty five dollars and sixty six cents okay so we're gonna go from here then we're gonna take it on over here to the cash ish i am giving myself 275 for this i pray y'all that i don't go over this but I still have to go through my, um, what is it called? My transactions eventually. So we'll, we'll discuss. So 955.66 minus 275. 
okay so that's six hundred and eight dollars and sixty six cents i'm definitely i decided like this is a priority for me 52 weeks is totally a priority um i'm giving my house absolutely nothing my house fund nothing um even though i've been spending it like crazy um um i'm trying to figure out so i did have a couple things on here so i'm gonna say this is 67 dollars is what i'm giving my sinking fund 67 i hope you guys can see that because it is green like why did why i don't know okay my one month ahead i'm only gonna give that one 80 dollars and then my his and hers is getting his and is his and thirds <laughs> what i don't know so that's thirty dollars then then my ten dollar challenge is definitely getting fifty dollars okay so let's let's add this up so we have 275 plus 95 plus 67 did i say 67 i said 67 <laughs> plus 80 um plus 30 plus 50. did i do that right i feel like i did but i might have not had okay so that's yeah 597 dollars 97 um and so i'm gonna take 597 away from what was that 955 minus 955 dot 66 so that's 358 dollars 66 cents okay so we're gonna go let me write that down 358.66. I'm kind of a type A personality, kind of a control freak, like stuff being the way I said it was going to be. But this is a real life example of life be life in, and you cannot control crap, okay? Um, so, and also, if I were to get my month ahead up, you know, like nice and juicy, we would be ahead of all of our bills anyway. So, you know, things like this wouldn't affect us. Also, also, he does have a savings and emergency fund. I just rather him not take from the savings because I'm, I'm still in the housing buying process and I might need some of that so let me help you out so you can help me out you know it's a partnership we're a team we are a family okay student loans got nothing and then um <clears throat> excuse me more so credit card credit card credit card y'all the credit card got 200 dollars. i had i had to whisper it did you hear me <laughs> the credit card got 200 dollars. okay so that's 200 so we're gonna plus 200 so that's 158 dollars and 68 cents 158 60 i said 68 66 cents okay so i want to do 158 dot 66 because i do have the 158.66 still sitting in my account so i want to make sure this adds up 40 minus 10 minus 20. okay okay this is this is making sense okay and you're like what so 40 dollars to my fire 10 dollars to my ira 20 dollars to my m1 and then i put 80 dollars to my emergency fund so let's do it again so we said 158, one, no, let's do 40 plus 10 plus 20 plus 80. That's 150. Okay. Okay, y'all. So the amount here is 150 and what's left over? $8.66. And if you're like, girl, I thought you do a zero-based budget. I do. Okay, it's not exactly zero, but you know what? With how much unknowns is happening right now, I think I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay to have, you know, a few dollars there. Yeah. I don't know. This is just me thinking out loud. Oh, where's my little cash tray? But let's count. So we have 100. Okay. This is literally how they give me the money. I can't make this up. I mean, I could, but why would I? 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40. It smells like perfume. This one 40. And 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, plus 32. So 272 dollars is what I've taken out of the bank, and this is what we're gonna stuff. 
Okay, I got my little tray. Boom. Boom. Bam. Wham. Uh oh. Wham and thank you, ma'am. I don't know how y'all deal with me. All right, so let's first get into this 52 week. Did I write out my thing for Yes, I did. Good job, Mo. Okay. And I'm gonna do it in green because it's just my actual factual. So I was supposed to have $1,075. Can y'all see that? Y'all can. Okay. So 52 weeks, I'm supposed to give it $95. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Okay, that's one thousand. Twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy. One, two, three, four, five. That's seventy-five. Okay, that's seventy-five dollars. And I'm supposed to be giving it 90, so 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. So 95, I'm sorry. 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. That's $95. Let's put her in nice and juicy, nice where she belongs. Boom. And crunchy looking numbers. I gave some cash <laughs> to somebody. Oh, it was the guy for the inspector. And he's like, nobody deals with cash anymore. This is rare. I'm going to give you a discount. I said, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> like, come on. I'm, I'm grateful. Plus, five. So we have $1,170. I'm thankful because, you know, I love a good cash. So I'm going to add 95 next thing we have is our 52 week savings i'm sorry that was 52 weeks ten dollar savings it says it right there <laughs> one 200 350 out of 50 dollars that's gonna be 400 that closes me out for um the rest of april because it's 100 a month okie dokie auto chokey his and hers is getting um, $30, I must say. So his and hers in my house fund, I have been dipping heavily into. Cause I'm planning a wedding and I'm trying to buy a house. Don't do them both at the same time, okay? Don't don't be me, don't be dumb. Okay, okay, you promise? One, two, three, four, 20, 30. So I'm just gonna add $30, okay. <clears throat> But yeah, at least I still have the cash. Okay, so next thing's next. We have month ahead. And what did I say I was going to do? I think $80. Let's see how much we got. I'm probably going to have to add some numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, twenty, forty, sixty. So we got eight. 60. All right, all right. That makes sense. 760 plus 100. And then I said $80. Wrong side. Let's add the 80. Okay. So we have 2, 4, 6, 80. Okay. Plus 80. So we have $940. Almost a thousand. Okay, now let's get into this house fund. So the home fund, which is what I'm putting aside to like my home expenses, this is what I've taken. $1,005 for the earnest deposit is literally $1,000. I had to pay $5 because I got it taken from the post office. $210 for the sewage inspection. That is what I paid in cash. And that's what he gave me a little discount because it was like 250, 230, something like that. Then $650 for the home inspection. Um, this came off my credit card, so I had to pay that back. This, I took out of cash, and then this 200, I also took out of cash. So let's see how much cash your girl has. So we got one, two, three, two, four, 
right? One, two, three, 20, 45. So three, 45. Yeah, 345, okay. So, see, look at that. It's at 2,505. Um, so now I have 1,345. No, and then I added $505. <laughs> Y'all, let's, I don't even know. I'm not gonna add or minus anything yet from that home because I don't even know. You know, I just don't know. She, me, don't know. Okay, let's move on. Nothing's going to be day. We can count it though. $15. This is for people's birthdays. Still haven't gotten my sister anything for her graduation. That's soon. Then we have Mother's Day. Moms of the world. Two, four, six. 65, 70, 75, 80. Um, why did I, why did I put the 10 and the fives together, y'all? I have, I have, um, I'm gonna give her something, but not exactly yet. I, I actually gotta buy this sooner than later because Mother's Day is coming up. Father's Day. Okay, 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 okay. We have 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Okay, next thing next, we have Thanksgiving. I was already open. Again, I'm just counting because I'm not I'm not adding this. One, five, 10, 15, so 115. Um, let's move along. So back Friday, boom, mode. Y'all see this? I added $18 because I found $18 in my wallet. Look at God. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram few weeks ago i had found six dollars on the ground can't make this up okay so i added 18 dollars and um yeah they're like why first of all my birthday is this month second of all i'm gonna get my hair done um hopefully it looks better than my next <laughs> that shade 120 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 one two three one more time one more time 120 30 40 50 55, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, that's 173, okay? And what I'm gonna do is take from treating myself, hear me out, hear me out, because it's gonna be the same thing, 20, 25, 30, I'm gonna give it here. So we're gonna say treating myself. We're subtracting the $30, okay? Let's just subtract and then uh, mode in, okay. This is, it should be 155, I don't know. Oh, I added the 18, I don't know, let me see. 120, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 173, 173 plus the 30. <clears throat> okay, and then two fives. Okay, so plus 30, that's 203, and we're gonna keep that there. Now, you know what I'm gonna do? And then I'm gonna be done, I promise. <laughs> I am gonna add the rest of this to Mother's Day. Whatever this is. Whatever it is, okay? Cause I owe my mama 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. She is a fancy lady and she wants a gift and that's fine. So I'm gonna get her a gift. I'm gonna add the fives and the ones. So I had 80. So 20, so we had 80, two, four, six, 70. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. I told myself $100, so I'm a little shy of 100 Okay, so it was 80 so that means I added 17 Um, This one was 30 And for Mother's Day, we're going to say 17 Okay, kind of an anticlimactic cash stuff. This is real life, real numbers. And here we are, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys could relate to this at least a little bit because life be life in. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.